Welcome to I Wanna Make. So what have you been doing during quarantine? I've been watching plants grow. And I thought, this is boring. What if we sped it up? It would be cool if we could visualize spinning around a plant while watching it grow. So I thought I'd make a robotic time lapse. Let's get started. But first, this episode is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, business, tech, and more. Anyone can join the millions of members in our community to learn cutting edge skills, network with peers, and discover new opportunities. I've already taken two machine learning classes and one Python class. You should check it out. Wait, I only have 52 subscribers. Why am I hawking other people's products? Because that's what the cool kids are doing. Am I really that desperate to have fake advertisers? So this should be a pretty simple project. I'll use a stepper motor on the bottom attached to an arm that rotates around the plant to take pictures. I'll make the arm adjustable so that I can pan the camera upwards manually as the plant grows. But wait, how am I gonna have an arm spin continuously around the plant when it needs to be connected to wires and stuff? I don't want it to be wireless and have to charge the batteries all the time. Batteries are for chunks. And the plant can't just float in midair. Though that would be awesome. Note to self. I could have a narrow platform that's reinforced to hold the plant and the arm would nearly go all the way around and go 350 degrees and then when it gets to the end, rewind back and take the next photo, as if the support column weren't there. That would solve the problem of the wires getting tangled over multiple rotations too. Or I could make a mini train track around the plant and have a small servo attached to it and just miniaturize the whole setup and have it traverse the plant like an orbiting planet. But that sounds complicated. Or, I could just rotate the damn plant and keep the camera stationary. Ugh, I'm dumb. Okay, so I'm making a turntable. Parts! I need parts. I already have a plant, it's a succulent. Because it's the only kind of plant I know how to not kill. Actually, is it dead? Anyway, I need some kind of bearing. But before we continue, this episode was brought to you by Curiosity.com. Curiosity is on a mission to make learning easier and more fun than it has ever been. Their goal is to ignite curiosity and inspire people to learn. Each day, they create and curate engaging topics for millions of lifelong learners worldwide. Experience curiosity on our website today. Why am I reading a fake ad? I decided to use a stepper motor and shield I found on Amazon, a Raspberry Pi Zero, and a relay. Let's see if the circuit is working. I'm going to probe the motor circuit with this multimeter. So this should be 3 volts. OK, that's good, 3.3. And this should be ground. That's good. This one's labeled AC, and that's confusing because I thought it was a DC circuit. Let's try probing it. Oh, AC stands for air conditioning. And I don't even know what this one does. Yo, bo, This episode is brought to you by MeUndies. MeUndies is a delivery service that sources only the finest, softest materials for our undies and works only with factories that take exceptional care of their employees. At MeUndies headquarters, they've assembled an incredible, experienced team dedicated to all the right things. It's all those people working together that makes our undies really special. Okay, while you were listening to that fake ad, I made this turntable out of wood. It turns here and is connected to a motor below. Then the camera is here and you can adjust it here. Once an hour, the robot turns the plate a degree, waits for the plant to settle, turns on the ring light, takes a picture, turns off the ring light, and uploads a photo to Dropbox. Here's a time lapse. Neat. Ugh, but the succulent doesn't do anything. Apparently succulents don't really move very fast. Do something succulent? So in my first version of this, I couldn't figure out how to connect the ball bearing to the wood, so I tried making my own bearing. It actually worked okay, but there was too much play and it was unstable. So I decided to leave the bearings to the experts and get this Lazy Susan bearing from eBay. This episode was brought to you by this channel. You should subscribe to this channel. Then it will get worse by having real ads. Okay, here's the second version. It has real bearings now. It was a pain in the ass figuring out how to connect the tops and the bottom. I ended up using tiny nuts and machine screws. Here's another time lapse I took. Time 
dances were pretty good. Look at all those alien flowers. I didn't know that flowers grew backwards and dancey like that. Do flowers get dizzy? My wife says yes, I say no. This episode was brought to you by Subscribe! Look, a version with a DSLR. I use the Gphoto 2 Python library to remotely take photos, and this AC adapter from Amazon to keep my DSLR turned on without batteries. You just have to set it to turn off after five minutes. Let's give it a shot. Let's watch another video. I also took some time lapses without the turntable using a Raspberry Pi. Here are those. Here's the code and stuff if you want to make this yourself. Thanks for watching. Black Lives Matter. See you next time.